Maybe for long periods in that game, it looked like a single goal would settle it. Levy ended up getting two and a fantastic three points. Can you, can you give us your thoughts, please? I thought the game went exactly how I thought the game was going to go. I always had it in my head. We were going to change our shape to probably a 3-5-2 at some point during the game. I don't think it was a game for getting the ball down and passing the ball and playing with open wide wingers, getting it full backs. I think you can see today it was more about playing a wee bit of percentage throughout ball for both teams. It was going to be a mistake or the team that never defended the box well enough. I don't think there was anything in the game, if I'm honest. We scored an offside goal, they get an offside goal, so that kind of cancels each other out. And then if you look at the two chances Ross County had, I think, I can't remember who the first one was from, and it went straight into Shamal's arms in the middle of the goals. Pretty central. Keith Watson. Pardon? Keith Watson, that explains why it wasn't a goal then. Sorry, sorry Keith, but that explains why. And then I think Kinkola had a fantastic opportunity in a counter and he doesn't hit target. And then you look at wee Brucey. I'm delighted to have wee Brucey back to where I needed wee Brucey to be at the start of the season. Seems to take wee Bruce for three, four months before he kicks in again, but delighted for him. And really, I think both teams we defended with 18 yard box probably better than Ross County. And I think we took our chances at the other end better than Ross County. And that was really the only difference in the game. I don't think any of us could sit here and say, Either team dominated possession or looked more likely to score. Maybe I'm being a wee bit unkind. Maybe we did look at the team that maybe score. Um, I think our offside goal is a fantastic phase of play. Great wee part and great awareness. Bruce gets us up the part. Shinny makes a run. Great finish. Um, but we changed the shape late on in the game because I kind of knew it was going to be a game where you miss the midfield out and you pick second balls up. And, that's kind of what the back three was set up to do. We kept the midfield free, we matched them up in there, managed to get the back three. Um, unfortunately, when we changed that shape, that's when they got a wee bit of joy. I think it threw us a little bit. We lost a wee bit of fluidity, but um, we might we get a wee bit lucky with the... Uh, well, it's not lucky, it's offside, so VAR, VAR comes to the rescue there. Then I think the lads were tremendous. They defended the 18-yard box, they got good contacts on their clearances, and they were very aggressive in their aerial duels. So I think that was really the only difference in the game. As, as well as the defensive performance, this is the first Premiership win of the season that Livingston have won by more than a one-goal margin. How pleasing is that for you to see that the team can score, go on and score more goals? Certainly to Callum Brown, how pleasing. <laughs> Um, big Brownie, how are you doing, Biggin? Um, I'm, I'm not really like, do you know what? I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered how you win games of football. At this level, we have our budget, it's about winning games of football. And I'm not a big believer in this philosophy and how you go about winning games of football. You find a way to win a game of football, and that's what the boys done today. We had two objectives before the game keep a clean sheet, because I think we've got a way for that over the piece over the last maybe four weeks. I think um, there's been other objectives that have maybe been the primary objectives within the group. Today, I'd reinforce that I wanted a clean sheet. And then, hopefully by getting a clean sheet, you're going to pick three points up. And I think you can see today that was the type of performance we had. So, really happy about the three points, but I'm honestly, I'm delighted about the clean sheet. Clean sheets for me bring consistency and clean sheets do you know what, they put you, they get you up the table and they give you a platform to go and win games of football. And when you've got people like wee Brucey, who's, let's be honest, he's a fantastic finisher in and around the 18-yard box. There's probably no anybody better at this point in time in the Premier League, Kyogo and that. But at our level, I think he's fantastic at what he does. Um, so wee Brucey came to the rescue and he likes scoring goals up here to him. I said to him before the game, I said, Brucey, you'll score, you like up here. Brucey, what did I say to you before the game? Yeah. Did I say that? No, right. But let's kid on. I said you'll get a double, right? But I did. I did say. I did say you'll score the day. I just had a feeling. I think that's now. I don't know. I've got a really good relationship with Bruce, and I don't know something sparked the last last week or so. Maybe, maybe even the last couple of weeks. It's just been a goal missing. I hope the wee man kicks on now. Um, but he'll need to kick on because I'll be in the background, willing, willingly ready to put him right up there backside if a standards drop so I'm delighted for him today.